Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today I'm going to bring you guys a video on knives in CSGO. Before we get into the video guys though, I do want to go ahead and urge you to check out swap.gg. They do have PayPal deposits, which is probably one of the only marketplaces right now that does actually support PayPal deposits. So if you are using PayPal, they're a great site to check out. I know PayPal is a very popular deposit option and a lot of sites have removed it in the past. So it's really great that swap.gg is now allowing it. Now, if you want to check out swap.gg, here is a little ad from them. If you guys want to check out swap.gg and use their PayPal deposits, be sure to click the link in the description below. It does support the channel quite a lot. Thank you, and let's get into this video. Okay, so we're talking about knife investments. Now, knife investments, I believe, are a very attractive thing to a lot of people because knives are something that you can play with, and they're also a pretty good in-game looking item that pretty much you can use at any point in time since you don't have to buy the knife. It's always going to be on your character in that third slot. So for that reason, I feel like a lot of people are really into knife investing, and a lot of people have asked me what the best knife investments are, probably for the same reason. So, let's talk about some of the bad ones and the good. Beginning with the bad ones and why they're bad, you're obviously going to be looking at some of the newer knives. So that's going to be stuff like the Talon, the Stiletto, and of course the very new knives from the Shadow Web Operation, which is going to be the Skeleton, Nomad, Survival, etc. These are all really bad options for investments because they're new, and as we all know, knives as they are newer tend to drop in value over time and don't really rise in price. The reason for this is because the knives that are going to be newer in the game are also going to be unboxed at a higher rate than other knives since the more recent the case, the more applicable the unboxing for that case are going to be. New cases are going to be lower priced than some of the older cases that feature some of the better investment knives, so that's kind of why they are going to be unboxed at a higher rate because they're not as priced out as most other cases are. So generally I would say if a knife is newer in terms of its actual base form and not just the skin, I would say that's probably not a great idea to invest into simply because the knives are new and are going to be unboxed at a higher rate. Now as for knives that are older in the game and actually have a little bit more prowess as investments, let's get straight into that. Now my number one pick for the best investment knife in the game right now is going to be the butterfly knife. This is just a knife that continues to gain value and continues to go up in price simply because it's not only a very rare knife, but it's also a very good looking knife that a lot of people choose to use as their real play skin. And obviously the more people that use a knife as a play skin, the less people that are actually going to be selling that knife actively which further increases its price. The butterfly knife features one of the most premium animations of any knife in the game, and it is also a very good looking knife on its normal base form. Now, its skins can get pretty pricey, fade butterfly knives go up to $1,000 plus, and with good fade percentages can go way higher, so they are a very expensive knife to invest into, so obviously only invest into these if you actually want to use it and hold on to it for a while, because it's going to be a little bit harder to get your return with something so expensive to begin with. As of right now, in terms of case unboxings, the butterfly knife is pretty exclusive. It's really only available in its original forms and original skins in the breakout case, and of course it had the re-release with Tiger Tooth, Doppler, etc., but those are going to be a little bit more common and don't tend to be the more expensive butterfly knives to begin with anyway. If you're looking to buy into a butterfly knife, I would recommend one of the older ones, for example, the Slaughter, Fade, that kind of thing, because those are going to be the ones that have a much lower quantity and probably won't have a re-release in the future. And also before we continue this video, I just want to say that I'm not saying knives are the best investment right now. The reason I'm making this video is because I know a lot of people prefer knife investing over other types of investing in CSGO, simply because the knives are able to be used as a play skin and you can kind of put everything you have into those knives specifically. So those are kind of the reasons why I decided to make this video specifically as a knife investment guide because I know there's a big group of people out there that don't really care for traditional investing and would rather go for knives. Another knife that has a lot of potential right now is going to be the Karambit and this one actually has a little bit of a further reason for why it's a good investment besides just what the butterfly normally has. So obviously as we know the Karambit is a very popular knife and for a lot of people was probably actually popularized first to them by CSGO itself. So, pretty interesting knife dynamic there, and it's kind of one of the poster boy knives for CSGO itself. There's another interesting thing about the Karambit, and that's that the focus has shifted away from the Karambit in terms of development by Valve. Valve has obviously released the Talon knife, which is a Karambit itself, it actually says it in the description too, 
and the Talon Knife is actually going to be a lot more of a development focus for Valve rather than the original Karambit, so I don't think we're going to get any re-releases anytime in the future. Karambits, as I said, have a great animation and are also great in terms of their skins. They have a wide variety to choose from, all the way from Fade and Slaughter up to Gamma Doppler and Freehand, and everything in between. So there's a lot of options for investing into Karambits, and there's a lot of choices you can make. Again, though, if you're looking to make the most amount of money off of Karambit, I would recommend buying an older one, such as the Urban Mast, Fade, Slaughter, etc., that haven't had as many re-releases because those are going to be the better option for long term. So that's my two cents on the best two knives to invest in, the Butterfly and the Karambits. And now there's also some other ones that I want to talk about as being potential investments in the future. Now this next one's going to come at a surprise to some of you, but I do think there's a lot of merit behind it as an investment. So this is going to be the Gut Knife and specifically the Autotronic and Lore skins for the Gut Knife. The reason these two skins are going to be so attractive is because they are by far the best skins for the Gut Knife itself. And not only that, they also are very unique on the Gut Knife itself. The Autotronic actually has a ton of red, which is very interesting because no other Autotronic knife really has the same amount of red as the Gut Knife does. You can argue that the Bayonet and M9 Bayonet also have a lot of red in them, but it's nowhere near as much as the Gut Knife does, and it's also very interesting how the Gut Knife has a lot of accents and details on it that a lot of other Autotronic knives don't share. It seems like the Autotronic skin was just simply made for the Gut Knife. There's also, of course, the Lore finish, which despite being a pretty low detail finish as a whole, it does look very, very good on the Gut Knife, and arguably one of the best best knives to have the skin on itself. So even though we are talking about gut knives here, a historically very unpopular knife, I do think these are great skins for them and they are something to check out. Another knife that I want to bring up is the Huntsman knife. This one of course was exclusively released into the Huntsman case and can't really be obtained elsewise except for those newer chroma finishes with the Tiger Tooth and the Damascus Steel for example. I do think that the Huntsman knife is an interesting and meritable investment simply because the older versions of it are going to be pretty rare and although it doesn't look as good as the butterfly knife by any means, it is still something to watch out for in case. As for the Huntsman knife, basically follow the same procedure as the Karambit or Butterfly and buy the older finishes. I think another interesting one is the Felchion knife, which does have a very good animation and of course was also released pretty exclusively into the Felchion case. The Felchion knife also has been rising pretty rapidly recently, so it is something that you could hop onto if you do prefer. Another knife that I want to talk about, or two knives, is going to be the Bayonet and M9 Bayonet, but I think in terms of investing, these are going to be a little bit less of a moneymaker as the other knives because these ones don't really have an exclusivity type thing going on and they are probably going to get re-released in the future and they do have quite a few releases under their belt already. Despite being pretty good looking knives and generally pretty enjoyed by the community, I don't think they're all that great in terms of money making. The final knife that I want to talk about is going to be the Bowie knife. I think the Bowie knife is actually not going to be that great of an investment. The knife does have a pretty interesting animation and style and a lot of good skins to choose from, but I think the Bowie knife is going to get a re-release in the future at some point and it's not really one of those knives that I would consider a great money maker, also because it's one of the more recent operation release knives. So guys, that's what I think about knives right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like below to show your support and of course subscribe to the channel for all the latest and greatest investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. If you do decide to invest in one of these knives, I'll make it easier on you and tell you that you can go check out swap.gg. Not only do I get a lot of support from your purchases on the site, but it also of course features PayPal deposits like I said, which is a pretty good rarity and it will be able to allow you to access these knives a lot easier. Also be sure to check out my Discord, Reddit, and Twitter in the description of this video below and leave me a comment on what you thought of the video. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I will see you all next time. Peace.